All right, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am by now, let me just briefly repeat myself. I am the one and the only Douglas Habian. I really do this. I do this on a daily basis, every day, all day. Don't claim to be the best. I'm probably one of the worst, but uh, I'm very, very passionate, very devoted to this. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is this wonderful adapter that I have in front of me that is an alpha uh, Wi-Fi adapter. And I showed you in a previous video what it looks like. This is a very popular adapter. You can get it off the internet. You can get it off of sites like Amazon. Um, it's also referred to as the uh, AWUSO36ACH. And it has two antennas, dual bands. So what I want to show you in this video is um, if you already have everything installed, if you have the drivers installed on your system, in this situation, I'm running uh, distribution of Kali Linux. Um, if you have everything already installed, then you might see some output as follows. I'm going to run the dmessage command using sudo privileges. I'm going to do the dash w so that we can see, um, see this in uh, real time as kernel messages are uh, outputted to the screen. And let me hit return. Now, now that I'm running a D message, I'm going to go ahead and plug the uh, alpha uh, Wi-Fi adapter into my laptop. And when I plug it in, you'll see the uh, messages um, scrolling to the, to the screen, scrolling by. And you can see the messages, and it's identifying itself as uh, uh, 802.11 NIC manufacturer real tech serial number 123456 and you can see a little bit more information underneath it and it looks like it's it's um, been given a common interface name of WLAN uh, 0 so that's a great sign um, if you see that you know that it's recognizing it the drivers are probably most likely installed um, in, a, in a proper way also you'll physically see on the adapter, on the Wi-Fi adapter, that there's a blue light that's blinking. Those are great signs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and control C this and show you uh, what it would look like with LS USB. If I run that, you can see we have a nice little line right here. It's sitting on bus 1, device 7. Um, here's the uh, hexadecimal product and uh, that's the manufacturer uh, string. But it's identifying itself as a Realtek Semiconductor Corp RTL 8812AU. And then all of this afterwards, you know, BGN, that's just talking about the different bands. But the main information is here, here is letting us know it's a Realtek. And this right here, this can be pretty important if you're trying to figure out which uh, drivers that you need to install on your system. Um, because you typically, when people are trying to do this, they're, they're either installing the drivers for RT, RTL uh, 8812A0, or there's going to be one that says 1.4. And we'll do a, a, a longer video about this, but basically, um, if, if you fall into this category where you need the drivers for the 8812, you're going to go to, to this right here. You're going to go to this site, which is GitHub Aircrack. And you're supposed to, a lot of people don't do this, but you have to go to the site and look for these instructions and you're actually gonna run this command down here. You are supposed to get clone a specific version. So version 5.6.4.2, you're supposed to run this command. I might throw these in the description, but I'm gonna do a longer video on the actual installation of the drivers. I just wanted you to, to, see, to see that. But really what this video is gonna be about is Okay, it's, uh, it's, um, it's recognizing it. Now what? Well, if I run ifconfig, you know, we see that it has an interface name down here, WLAN0. I can also run iwconfig, and we also see WLAN0, and we're getting a little bit more information. It's in managed mode, because remember, these have different modes. That's what makes... It's what sets these apart from your regular ones that you buy from a regular store is you can put these into other modes like 
monitor mode, whereas you can't put these other adapters, like the net gear adapter that I have, you can't put that into monitor mode. So if I just wanted to use it as a regular Wi-Fi adapter, then obviously I could do uh, the normal thing that one would do when trying to connect to the internet, and you know, I'd probably come up here and I would look for um, my GUI application to click on to turn Wi-Fi on and and uh, and um, connect to, to the internet. However, uh, and we can see right here that if I go under available networks, um, there are uh, different networks that, that I can connect to. However, because I like to use the command line, I would probably use a tool like NMTUI. And that is like a Suedo command line GUI uh, tool. You can use this on any command line. You can use it in a server type of environment where maybe you don't have a, a desktop operate, you don't have a desktop environment. And I would go to um, activate uh, connection. And then you can see that uh, I have my different connections to choose from. And I'll just pick one, hit return, and then enter in a, a password if it required one, right? In this case, I'm, I'm not even actually, I'm not gonna connect to, to any network. If I had, then I'd just come down here and uh, quit out of that and then run IF config and I would um, be able to identify my, my IP address, et cetera. But one of the more popular things that you would probably be using one of these for is to do some type of uh, scanning. So there's a couple different methods that you can that you can use if you wanted to, say, put it into monitor mode. Um, so we're going to go over a couple of different ways. There's, there's, a, there's the more preferred way, and then there's the way that everybody probably normally does it. Um, so one of the things that you might do is there is this command. It's, it comes with the Aircrack suite of tools, and it's called uh, AirmonNG. And you do run it with pseudo privileges. So I might run uh, sudo airmon. Uh, ng, and I could just run it by itself, and that will give me information about um, the Wi-Fi adapter. And then you typically would run something like sudo um, airmon ng, and then uh, check. And the reason that you do that is because there are services running in the background on your system that could disrupt this Wi-Fi card. Uh, if you were to put it into monitor mode, so uh, this is one of the one of the routes that you are supposed to uh, one one of the ways that people normally do this. So you run uh, airmon check to check, and we do see we have some things that could cause issues. So then we would run uh, airmon g check kill and kill those um, background services, and then run the check again to see if any exist. None of them exist. If you did still see some popping up, then you're supposed to just continue to run the check and then the kill and until there's nothing there. But in our situation, it did it on the first time. Now that we've done that, we could do something like sudo uh, airmon ng and then uh, start. And you do have to get this right. You, a lot of times I'll still make mistakes. I'll put the name of the interface first and then put start. Uh, but you have to do airmon in, sudo airmon ng start and then the name of your interface. And the name of this interface is WLAN0. So when I run that, that's the straightforward, easy way um, of putting this Wi-Fi card into a monitor mode. And... Now that it is in monitor mode, what that's going to allow us to do, and this is one of the things that separates these type of uh, Wi-Fi adapters from your normal run-of-the-mill ones, is we can now scan the air. We can scan anything around us. Um, and in order to do that, um, now that it's in monitor mode, and you can see it says right here, monitor mode has been enabled, we could do IW uh, config, and we'll see also that right here it's been put into monitor mode. And somewhere here, you could probably see maybe the TX here, T, TX down here, um, 2.4, it's on 2.4 um, frequency. So now we would do something like sudo uh, arrow dump, arrow dump ng, and then pass it the, the name of the interface, which in our case is still WLAN0. 
Sometimes it'll change to something like WLAN 0 MON, where you can see in our case it didn't change. It kept the name still WLAN 0. So if it changed, then you just type the new, the new, new name like WLAN MON. But for me, it, it kept the interface name the same. So I'll run sudo arrow dump WLAN 0, and now you can see that it's scanning. Um, and this is, this is pretty much, you know, this is how you would do this in a, in a straight, straightforward manner. You can see that I'm scanning in real time. Um, you see the BSS IDs on the left. You can see the power, the beacons. You can see in a, tr a tremendous amount of information uh, by doing this. And um, for anybody who's ignorant on this, this is, this is legal. Um, this is, there's nothing that's, um, don't let anybody tell you that this is illegal or that this is malicious because it's not. It's not until you start interfering with somebody's network, deauthenticating or something, that you're doing something that is illegal if they did not give you permission to. Well, you can scan the air, okay? There's nothing, there's nothing uh, illegal, wrong, or malicious about this. So don't let anybody tell you any different. Um, now, uh, we can see that there's a there's few, few things, not much going on around us, but um, uh, we can see that a couple of these networks are open, meaning there's no password to, um, to access them. We can see the type of encryption being used, WPA, WPA2. You can see the ciphers over here, and obviously the, the names of the networks over here, and then some of them have names that are hidden. Um, you can still figure out those names. It's just a, an extra step. And then down here, these, uh, in, in short, are basically saying that there's devices around me right now. It could be a cell phone. It could be a computer. But there's devices that are within reach of this Wi-Fi adapter that um, are not connected to these, these networks, but have in the past, and their devices are still um, throwing signals in the air. So this is saying, you know, that somebody connects to this Sonos, whatever this is, probably a speaker, and they're not connected right now, but unbeknownst to them, their device is looking for it right now. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and control C out of this, and there's a lot of different ways that uh, you can run this um, same exact command. Um, I'll probably need some more room, so I'm gonna exit out of this little side terminal over here, and I'm gonna run that same command again, right? But this time, to get some more information, I'm gonna add dash dash manufacturer. And that is gonna give us more information about the, um, the manufacturer of, uh, um, of the, the uh, network or the, the device that we're um, picking up in the scan. So you, if you're doing this, you're gonna, you might get a lot of uh, routers, for example, that you are um, you're seeing uh, in, in the air around you, and this would tell you more information about that router. So like this right here is saying that this is um, in an Aris uh, router, which is a popular router in the area where I'm from, and, and this is most likely a Sonos a speaker. Xerox Corporation is insinuating that perhaps a printer. So that's running dash dash manufacturer. I'm going to control C. And we could also do uh, band. So by default, um, this is only scanning on, uh, you know, I think, one band or, or something. But we could actually do dash dash band, and I could add other bands. I think we have uh, A, B, and, and G. So I could do that, and now it's going to be scanning on, on additional bands, and you may see a lot more um, information uh, come to the screen. Uh, so you could do countless videos just on different ways you can run this command, because you could also save this information to a file. Um, so this is by no means an exhaustive tutorial on it, but I just wanted to give you a basic understanding of it. And in, a, in some of the other videos, we'll, we'll continue to go into different ways that you, can, um, that you can use these, not only this adapter, but, but other adapters. So that is going to be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, see you in the next one.